All right, let's talk about something fun and light today. Yeah! All the celebrities that live in the Seattle area. Actually, when I was doing research for this, I, there were people I didn't even realize lived here, which was kind of fun. Like who? Um, Kenny Loggins is from here. I love Kenny Loggins. God, when I think of Kenny Loggins, I think Caddyshack. What? You think of Kenny Loggins with can't, cat? The, 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 really? It's all right. I think like Footloose or oh, or Top one. Gun. Obviously there's the big ones that we mention all the time in our videos, like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. They're only celebrities because they're the richest men in the world. So they are both located in the Bellevue area, which is just south of us here in Kirkland. And are they really celebrities? Yeah, those are like household names. Oh, but you know what drives me crazy is when people call Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos. It's not Bezos, it's Bezos. Well, it's like when people say, I'm moving to Washington. Uh, no one says that. My high school principal, who was a high school at Lake Washington High School, yeah, said Lake Washington High School. Okay, well, that's a little weird. Not a celebrity. Okay, so some other big ones that you probably already know. Macklemore, he is like one of the biggest like Seattle advocates out there. And he we, loves this city so it, much. And if you listen closely, he raps about Seattle too. All the time. Almost every single song yeah. is about Seattle. And so he lives over in Capitol Hill, which is on the Seattle side of like Washington. <laughs> he has a nice big old house there. Um, one that people may not realize, Dave Matthews lives in Seattle. You know the thing I've always heard about Dave Matthews is that he lives super simple. Okay, so I looked up his house. It is... 2,100 square feet. He just lives in a regular house. In Wallingford, which is a little neighborhood in Seattle. It's like the most normal looking house you have ever seen. Does it make you feel guilty for building a big ass brand new house? Okay, well that's why like wealthy people are wealthy. Because <laughs> it's like, um, what's his face? Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett yeah. drives like a Toyota Corolla And he lives in his something. old house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so <laughs> learn something not to do from yeah, us. don't learn from me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of a random one, but most people around the country know who she is. Delilah from the radio. <laughs> so, so lives here. She lives in Port Orchard. She has like a 55 acre farm. You are not giving any backstory about Delilah. Okay, so okay. <laughs> if, if you have followed Molly or watched Molly or us in the past, she was a radio host for seven or eight years, yeah. right? And how do you, as a radio host, Molly, I'm gonna put on my radio host though. How do you feel okay, about well, Delilah? I, I, my, my opinions have changed, but I so used lie. to like not be, I could not stand Delilah. Thank you. She like drove me crazy, like her voice and like blah, blah, blah. But I'm kind of into it now and I think that's just because of age. <laughs> you know, I, I totally, like if you like the softies, if you're like, uh, I just want to listen to Lionel Richie at night. I just like, I can't get over the people that like call in and talk about their life problems with Delilah. Yeah, but you know so much about radio. I'm just wondering like, are those calls even real? They might be fake. Um, speaking of radio, okay, so Danny Badaducci from the Partridge family, he lives here and I actually used to work with him. He worked at my radio station. Nicest guy on the planet. I want to know if you're, please, I've never asked for a comment before, but if you're, watching this video, please comment. Do you even know who Danny Bataducci is? Oh, I think people do. He used, to have a re he, yeah, he used to have a reality show. Like he used to be super crazy. He's sober now and like has his life together. What He's year so was nice. the Partridge family on? I, before I was born, probably. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, this one shocked me. Bill Nye, Bill Nye the science guy. I had no idea he lived here. So you know what's funny about that? Because Bill Nye for me, if you grew up here, you knew Bill Nye was from here. But okay. if you're from, like, I didn't know people knew who Bill Nye was outside of Seattle. Oh, I thought he what? was. Bill Nye, the science guy. Yeah. Everyone knows that, don't they? <laughs> I like I do, but I thought it was a Seattle thing. Oh. So growing up here, yeah. like Bill Nye, like you know, you do, do some of his like home science projects and yeah. whatnot. Well, the reason he got his whole start being Bill Nye, the science guy, is he was an engineer for Boeing, which I <laughs> mind blown. Had no idea. Welcome, um, okay. welcome to the Northwest. Another one is Kenny G. Everyone knows who Kenny G is, right? Okay, okay. Now tell your story okay, about Kenny so G. Okay, so my old boss, I, I used to work corporate retail, and my boss there, she, that's his, her ex-husband is Kenny G. So what, what, what's his, what's the real Gorlick. name? Gorlick. Gorlick is his last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Solid crazy. Jewish boy like us, like yeah. me. <laughs> um, okay, so Eddie Vedder, he lives Obviously. here. Um, another random story. Wait, wait, hold on. You can't just float over Eddie Vedder. Okay, that's not really cool to me. I know it's cool to so many people. Wait, Eddie Vedder, so like being in, because of all the Bachelor stuff that we went through, we get invited to a lot of nonprofit stuff and fundraisers. And Eddie Vedder is like front and center at a lot of these Yeah, things. he is. He's so, pretty involved in the community. Yeah, so Eddie Vedder is a stud, 
find like giving back and even more of a stud for Pearl Jam. And yeah. if you've ever watched Into the Wild, that soundtrack. Oh God, that's such a good movie. Yeah, so you can't gloss over Eddie okay, Vedder. Eddie Vedder lives here. Thank you. <laughs> Um, this one's super random, and I don't even know that we should call her famous, more infamous. Um, Amanda Knox. She lives in West oh, Seattle, but I yeah. do have a story about her too because when I worked at the radio station, she worked in the coffee shop at the bottom of our building. She did? Yeah, so I used to see her all the time. Did you ever say anything to her? No, that would be so rude. You're like, and hey. she's innocent. But you're like, I had 15 minutes of fame too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so on that note, and you didn't know I was going to do this. Let's talk about people from The Bachelor who live in Seattle because oh. there's so many. So Jason and Molly Mesnick. Okay. Um, so Chantelle O'Brien, she was the runner up on Brad Womack's second season. Yeah. Adore her. Yeah. And um, her family's filthy rich. Yeah, but she's so sweet and so nice. Um, wow. Lindsay Cox, who is a friend of mine. Okay, what season was she on? Let's she was on Ben of... Flannick's season. Ben Flannick. And she was the runner-up on Ben Flannick's season. Okay, okay. She's super nice, too. Super nice. Yeah. Um, Renee Maynard, that's her new last name. She lives over at Sammamish. I hear from her all the time. Who is, what season she, was she on? Oh, God. I should know more about that. I don't remember whose season she was on. Sorry, I don't know. So Bob Penny lived here. Like, 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 like black and white days, like me, black and white TV days. So yeah. he was here. Moved here for a while, then he moved back to Michigan to be closer yeah, to his family. Michigan. Michiganders. That's where I'm from. There's some. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, I'm sure, like bachelor wise, there's probably people. In there's every more state. that were just, that were just. Well, I mean, we there's, well, I was also saying there's so many people that have been on The Bachelor now that like every state probably or every major city has probably. Yeah, 10 those were some people. big names. People who made it like second place. <laughs> Love you, Bob. <laughs> okay, so then there's another piece of this list of celebrities who are from here that you may not have realized. So. Chrissy Teigen is a really big one. Where's she from? Just Seattle? She's Definitely. from Snohomish. Okay. Um, Chris Pratt and Aunt Anna Ferris. They were married at one point and they were both from here. Where's she, where's she from? Yeah. She's from, um, oh shoot, somewhere up north, like that Snohomish area. Okay. I think she still has a house on San Juan Islands. Oh. Um, Chris Pratt, all of his family still lives here. Chris, give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> um, Joel McHale, he was in your fraternity. Well, hold on a second. He's way older than me. Okay. You say so. I they remember were in the same fraternity. So I remember at looking at those University of Washington. those composite pictures. You know, that have yeah. everybody's everybody in it, and he was one of the more famous guys. It was like okay. athletes, and then the, the guy from the suit. Yeah, Joel McHale. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Rain Wilson, Dwight Schrute from uh, The Office. I think he. I believe he still has a house here. Oh God, I want to run into that guy. Yep. Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan from Grey's Anatomy, or walk, isn't he also on Walking Dead? Isn't it that show? Who, I don't know who that is. Okay, well, people know. Kurt Cobain, his grave is down in Auburn, isn't it? Yeah. Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, Chris Cornell. D the dude from Top Gun. Uh, the old... Uh, uh, Skerritt. Tom Skerritt, Tom yeah. Skerritt. So he's... He, I think he lives on one of the islands. I don't know exactly where, but like, okay. if, if you watch the, lo the local news here... I keep on looking out the window. <laughs> um, if if uh, you watch the local news, Tom Skerritt's all over the place here. Yes. Yeah, because he's trying to bring... Tom's trying to... Tom. Tom, Tom. <laughs> on a first name basis. Tom's trying to bring like a bigger uh, film uh, world. Oh, I just saw that last night. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. He's trying to bring the film industry to Seattle to start producing movies here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'll tell Tom you. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So again, it's not LA. It's no. not New York. No. But if you're running around the Seattle area. You might run into someone. You might. And the, I always thought growing up, I'll probably leave it at this. Okay. The most famous guy that I ever got excited to run into yeah. was a weatherman. Steve Poole. <laughs> Steve Poole is retired, <laughs> but he was one, he, he was on the news forever. He had the perfect mustache. He had to retire because he was sick, yeah. but like in Seattle. He's a big celebrity. Our celebrity is a I'm trying to think of who I would really want to run into. It, it'd either be Bill Gates. I've always wanted to run into Bill Gates, or I think Dave Matthews would be pretty cool. Like Macklemore we've done events with, so that's not that awesome. But... And, and Russell Wilson is gone. He's gone. God. So anyway, lots of celebrities here in Seattle. Come and check it out.